Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number 21 from the October November 2021 IGCSE Cambridge um, paper 2 variant 1. This question is from the 0580 syllabus. And this question here is about this pyramid. It says the pyramid A, B, C, D, E. The pyramid has a square horizontal base A, B, C, D with side 5 centimeters. The vertex E is vertically above the center O of the base. The height O, E of the pyramid is 9 centimeters. Calculate the angle E, C makes with the base A, B, C, D. So the angle between this line and this plane here, A, B, C, D. Now the angle between a line and a plane would be the angle made if you were able to just drop this line without any wind, like if this was a stick for example, there's nothing else here, you drop this and just let go of this, it would fall it would fall along the line CO, something like this. It would fall somewhere along that line. Okay, so the angle made between this line and the base is the angle ECO. That's the angle we're looking for. That's the angle, I'll call, I'll call that theta. All right, you can also think about it if you shone a light from above. This is, for example, you know, something which, um, you know, this there was a stick here. It was like a hollow thing. And there was a stick here. And you shone a light from above. Where would the shadow of that line fall on the plane? It would fall between C and O, go along this line here. So that is what we're looking for. We're looking for the angle theta. Okay, now, if I was to look at this from this angle over here, I will see in front of me a right angle triangle looking something like this. That's what I'd see in front of me. It would look like a right, this is a 3D figure, but this is vertical, this is horizontal. Horizontal base, vertical height, so that's a right angle at O. This is C, this is the angle we're looking for, and this is E, vertically above O. We know that this is 9 centimeters, and we need to find this angle, basically. That's what we're trying to find in this question, we're trying to find this angle. Now, if I find this, if I find the length OC, which is from there to there, I have found the length of this you know, I, I can find, once I've found OC, I can find this angle because I can use tangent. I have two sides, a right angle triangle. I can use tangent. I can find the angle one, what I want. So finding OC is the key to our problem here. So if we've got to find what OC is, we've got to find what OC is. Now I know that OC, OC is equal to a half of AC. It's a half of the diagonal going all the way across from A to C. Okay, because that's the diagonal of this square. Okay, so if I look at this shape from above or from below, all right, and I see the base A, B, C, D, it will be a square. Okay, so that will be like a square shape. A, B, C, D will look something like this. Okay, A, B, C, D. If I'm looking from above, that's what I'll see. A, B, C, and D. And each side of this square is five centimeters. So I can see to find A, C, I can use Pythagoras' theorem. This is a right angle triangle. So I can say AC is going to be the square root of the sum of the squares of the two shorter sides. So AC is going to be the square root of 25 plus 25, the square root of 50. I can leave it like that for now. I can write it in simplified terms for the font, but leave it like that for now. So now I know that this, this is going to be the square root of 50 over 2. Okay, the square root of 50 over 2. All right, so I know now that this length is the square root of 50 over 2. So now I can use this triangle here that I need. I'll just copy it and put it down here so that we can show the steps properly. So we take this triangle here and we can say that the tangent of theta, because we have the opposite and the adjacent, is equal to 9 over the square root of 50 divided by 2. So we can just put that in our calculator. We have to make sure that we are in degree mode. Now this calculator seems to be in radian mode. So shift, menu, angle input, degree. Very important before you start your exam, actually you should check that. So you have inverse tan. Then we have 9 over root 50 
and that's divided by two. Whoops, might have put square root. I have to get rid of the square root there, divided by two, and that will give us our answer. That gives you 68.553, 68.553. How are you supposed to round our answer? It doesn't tell us. So then degrees should, should be to the nearest degree. 68.6 degrees. And there is the angle between the line CE or EC and the base ABCD. Okay, so that's the answer to this question part or question number 22, 21, sorry, from this paper, October, November 2021 from a variant so it's question 21 from October, November 2021, and it's variant paper 2-1, okay, from the 0850 paper. Other questions from this particular paper will be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. Other questions from the topic of, I guess this is going to be under 3D trigonometry, will be found in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.